Karen? Is it that one of your businesses? And what could have been the contents of this? And what could have been the contents of this meeting? Was he also auctioning, or even trying to solicit a bribe from your side? Because this matter is in court, and because I have to consult my lawyers before I speak too much, I thought that whatever I've told you this up to now is appropriate as a matter of public interest. SG, you have disclosed your house. They met you at your house, yes. right? Why can't you disclose this secret location? I mean, it could be a public place. Why can't you just disclose it? You disclose your house. My disclose house, a secret my, my house. I can disclose. A secret location may be, lo be, may be belonging to somebody else. It is not appropriate for me to expose that. Yes. K Katibu, thank you. Uh, are you from Citizen TV? This is, um, you have mentioned secret location and uh, two commissioners who visited you at your house and you said that you will provide the CCTV footages to that effect. I just want to understand because uh, you are the executive director of the Azimio La Umoja One Kenya Coalition Political and, and Party. And former Secretary General of the... And former Ariada MP as well. And was this prompted... And former newscaster as well. Uh, thank you. And <laughs> was this rather prompted by this affidavit? And as an aggrieved party, were Chebukati and uh, Gulia, not to mention you in, in their affidavits, would you still have provided this before the court? Uh, I would not have. Why? why? And you feel uh, an aggrieved I party? I explained to you why. Um, I do have, given the fact that I'm no stranger to the political arena, right? I was there in 2017. These are people I know, these are people I've worked for, I've worked with rather. Take for example the time when um, IBC chairman made a ruling that the parties had to reveal their running mate within a certain time. If you recall, I was in the team who went to appeal against that and I did make a, a few calls to him to explain to him and he said he had set up a meeting at IBC so I should go there and uh, prosecute my case in front of him and the other commissioners and indeed we prevailed. He did not, did, he did not only postpone uh, the naming of the, uh, the deputy presidential candidates for a few days, he did it for three weeks. So these are people that I've worked with. I'll give you another phone conversation which I had with him. I did, so I'm, I'm ready to surrender the, the, the phone logs that I have with Mr. Chepukati to DCI and anybody else, uh, the right authority to scrutinize. Um, in the, in the run-up to the elections, there was the challenge of uh, logistics. If you talk to anybody who is farming flowers or vegetables trying to get space on aircrafts, going abroad, they'll tell you that uh, since COVID, there was always a challenge with getting aircraft to carry a lot of cargo. So I did talk to him and I told him, look, I just want you not to have a blind spot. Please uh, make sure that you, you, know, you, you organize the logistics for the cargo of, uh, of papers coming into the country, I mean ballot papers coming to the country in good time, because you may just find that when you are ready to do this, uh, there's no cargo space available in the country. So engagement with the commission is something that has been part of my job, not only now, but in 2017 as well. So I cannot go public with every discussion that we have on phone or on WhatsApp uh, because it's not essential. But, but when it is essential, when now they have put an affidavit yes. against me, tara diddle in every sense of the word, I think I'm within my right to also explain to the Kenyans my side of the story. And Thank you very much. And would that be part of the content in your affidavit before the Supreme Court? You said you can detail the, the every the aspect of it. Has been, yep. Actually, I, I, I'd wanted to share the affidavit with okay. you, okay. but um, right now my lawyers are working on it, okay. and um, they were not ready to give it to me so that uh, I could share it with you. As soon as it is there, I mean, affidavit, I may decide what I want to say, but as you know, lawyers will tell you, no, no, you can't say that. But that's within my right to decide what I'm saying and what I'm not saying. But this bit, I felt that I should tell Kenyans. Thank you very much. Thank you.